Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I actually have been thinking about doing something like this for a while now since I stopped wearing foundation. Really the only time I've worn it in like the last six months or so was for a video. It was for my Nancy Downs video. I can go ahead and link it in the cards or down below in case you guys want to check that out. But because I sort of branched into that no foundation thing, I thought it would be interesting to do a no foundation, no concealer look, even though it sort of also terrifies me a little bit because I do have the areas that I conceal that I feel a little bit more self-conscious about, like my under eye circles and my um, hyperpigmentation around my mouth. But what pushed me to go ahead and try it, finally, <laughs> was I saw a video uh, here on YouTube. I'll go ahead and link it. I can't remember her name or her channel name, but she sort of tried it two different times. There's two different videos. And seeing her do it made me a little bit more confident that I could pull it off and maybe not absolutely hate the way that I looked. So we're gonna give it a whirl, uh, try one look today. And if it doesn't work out, hey, we'll try again. We're gonna start off with eyes, but I also want to prime my face actually before we start with the eyes. I'm gonna be using this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil just because I think, at least for me, since there's gonna be no kind of concealing, it's gonna be bare faced. I want my face to be glowy and looks look nice and healthy. So we're just gonna go in. This has a little bit of shimmer particle super super fine you can't normally really see it unless the light hits it it just makes your face you know look healthy and glowy it's also nice and hydrating which obviously my dry skin loves i'm even gonna put it around my eyes why not i'm gonna start off putting down a base on my eyelids and it's gonna be a little bit different because i'm gonna be using a liquid lipstick a red one i decided if I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna lean into the like a little bit sick kind of a look. It's one that I like anyways. The eye look I'm gonna be doing is one that I already do and I love. It's very lazy girl, grungy, kind of undone sort of look. I'm just blending the liquid lipstick all over my eyelid. You can use this with any, don't worry about it. We're gonna be putting shadow on top of this so it can be a little bit messy. Don't worry about it. The liquid lipstick I'm using is from Beauty Vault and it is the shade Natty Nat. And this is just a Luxie brush, Luxie large eye blending brush. Just gonna be going in. There we are. It's already dried now, but like I said, it doesn't matter if it's not super blended as long as it doesn't have really, really harsh lines. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the bottom lash line. For that, I'm gonna be using a much smaller brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. So far, so good. This is what we have. Now we're gonna dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette, the first one, and I'm gonna go into the shade, what is it called? Jax. This dark red right here. Go ahead, pat that on the eyelid. That shade is darker, more of a burgundy, especially on top of that base so it added a good amount of depth. Now we're going to go into the shade right above it. It's called Hunts. It's more of a true red and we're going to put that around the edges and over it so like in the crease and then buffing it up. This is meant to be really blown out and grungy and messy so don't worry about going too high. Now with Hunts I'm going to go down here. I'm really gonna blow it out. Don't worry if it goes all the way over here because we're gonna have 
pretty prominent blush and it's all gonna blend into it so it's whatever and like I said we're leading into the sickly vibes so we're bringing it pretty far down if I change my mind I could always clean it up a little bring it up so I'm not bothered by that just using a clean brush to go over those top edges you can see I cleaned up a little bit. I just got a little towel and I sprayed it with this In Beauty Project. Um, I don't know. It's just a setting spray. That's what I'll do sometimes is I'll either use setting spray or I will use a primer with a cloth of some kind and that makes it easier to clean up but also you don't have to worry about having some kind of residue from a makeup remover on your face. You can just go and put makeup right on top of it and it doesn't disturb whatever you primed underneath. We're not done with the eyes but I do want to go ahead and do the cheeks just so that we can marry it all together before you know, finishing off the eyes. So I'm just using this Real Techniques brush. It's a blush brush and I dipped it into both the Jax and the Hunts shade and I kind of alternate it so that it could have a little bit of both blended in together. And we're gonna start back here by the temple and then we're gonna blend down and over because I want this kind of on my temples as well almost going into my forehead Let's have it all blend together because I knew I was going to do very heavy blush because this is a kind of look that I do but obviously with a full face of makeup on I decided not to do bronzer see how beautifully just using the same shades that I put on my eyes means that it can blend seamlessly into each other. It's one of my favorite tricks to do. Add a little to the nose. We have that flushed, sickly look. To kind of take away a little bit of the darkness on the inside, kind of highlight a little bit, I'm gonna go in with a liquid highlighter. I have this one from Iconic London. I'm just gonna pop it right here, illuminate the inner corners. Did I have something on this brush? Because that normally doesn't look blue. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I had something on that brush. Whoops. Okay, fix that to the best of my ability. We're gonna go in again, make sure that the brush is clean this time. Honestly, I usually set aside the brushes that I've used so something like that doesn't happen, but there's slip ups every once in a while. Let's pop it in here. Okay, good. That's the shade it's supposed to be, not grayish blue. Blend that all along inside here to counteract some of the darkness. I'm bringing it under a little bit. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. And I'm going over it with a powder shadow. Also from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's just the very first, very light shade. To further open up the eyes and combat some of the darkness, I'm gonna go in with a white pencil in my waterline. This is the NYX Tractable Eyeliner in white. Can you see what a difference that makes? I know some people like using nude instead of white, but I like the vibrancy of the white. We're going to be doing mascara and lashes, but I want to do lips first because I'm not exactly sure what I want to do because I could do an ombre lip moment which would be cute. I could go in with a red or I could go more nude. Let's try a few different things, see what we like. We can always switch out if we're not into it. The first one I'm gonna try is this Liquid Katsu from Wet n Wild in the shade Give Me Mocha. I love this lipstick. It's one of my go-to like daily ones to wear with anything, but I feel like it doesn't quite 
pair right with this look. I think we need something deeper, maybe. Let's try a red lipstick, and if not, we'll go even deeper, go for something like dark and vampy. Okay, excuse how messy I did that. I think this clashes a little bit. I think it's too red with the eyes. Mm, not a fan, okay. Third time's the charm, maybe, hopefully. We're gonna go in with Gulf Topic, which is also a Wet n Wild liquid catsuit. Again, this is a lipstick that I love, but I don't think it's quite right for this look. Oh my god. Something about not having the concealer and the brightness makes it so much harder to pick a lipstick for some reason. I don't know, but we're going to take this off and go with a glossy ombre lip. I think that might be the ticket. For my ombre, I always go in with a lip liner first. This one is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Spice. And I line my lips. In the middle of the lip, I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from Half Caked. It's one of their lip fondants, I think they're called, in the shade Bordeaux. And the blending brush from before, I'm gonna run it over the Cupid's bow. I like the Cupid's bow. Alright, just gonna pop a gloss on. I think we finally found our winner. This I've liked this one the best out of all of the options. It still throws me off having the darkness around my lips with lipstick on. It's a little bit weird. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes. I'll be right back and then give final thoughts. So there we are. This is the finished look with some lashes on. What do we think? I'm a little on the fence. Funny enough, it's not even like my under eye that's bothering me. It really is like all of my darkness and hyperpigmentation around here. So I could see myself maybe doing this again, but covering <laughs> this area like where I have the most darkness like right here and right here. My video stopped recording for some reason. <laughs> it cut off the entirety of my outro, but basically what I was saying was you guys will have to let me know down below if you have any suggestions or just tell me what you guys think. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content from me. I hope you guys are doing well. Until next time, bye!